Hi, this is Drew Wiesman with your Keeping Connected video for today. I am uh, actually recording this, uh, not today, but uh, a few days earlier, um, because I wanted to tell you a little bit about my grandfather. Uh, my grandfather, uh, his name is John Woods, and he uh, was my mother's father and was an amazing man. He was funny and crafty, um, always quick to uh, joke around, to talk about Tennessee Vols football, <laughs> and uh, was just somebody who always showed up for his kids and his grandkids. Uh, he was orphaned when he was a boy. Uh, his twin sister and mother both died when he was born. And so he was raised by his uh, aunt and uncle in rural Tennessee and grew up to be a uh, display sales manager for the Sears company. And he traveled all over the southeast of the United States, opening up uh, almost every Sears store and helping them design the displays and uh, make uh, the products look uh, beautiful. And he always was somebody who had a craft project, who was out in the wood shop uh, or developing uh, film from photography from one of their RV trips. He always had a project. And as a grandkid, when I go over to visit him uh, every week, he'd always uh, hand me something, uh, an old clock or an old radio and give me some tools and just tell me to take it apart and figure out how it worked. And it just encouraged me to be curious and to explore the world around me like he did. Um, several weeks back, he died uh, from COVID-19 and it really does bring this whole pandemic home in a very personal way. We often see numbers and statistics, uh, but he was the 32nd person in Alachua County uh, to die of this disease. And when you know the family, when you know the person behind those statistics, it makes things feel more real. And so as I've been remembering my grandfather and thinking about uh, stories and memories, um, it just it makes me want to remind people, wear your mask, socially distant, protect yourself, because you're not just protecting yourself, you're also protecting other people. You're protecting other people's grandparents and parents and brothers and sisters and friends. And that is something that as we're entering into month six of this uh, crazy season, it's easy to forget. It's easy to get frustrated and bogged down but we started this pandemic reminding each other to love your neighbor. And loving your neighbor means being socially distant. Loving your neighbor means wearing a mask. Even when you don't think it's necessary, even when you don't feel sick, even when you don't think it's important. Um, because it is. And um, I want to thank all of you for your prayers and the support you gave to me as your pastor, to my family, um, as we've been grieving and remembering his loss. and. I'm grateful to be a part of this grace-filled family uh, with each of you and uh, pray that you would continue uh, in God's love and let's continue to uh, keep everyone safe. May God bless you.